Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight got another special for you guys, a nice little uh breaking down failure. Now you guys remember a while back we did it when we were in the ranked battles and we went through and broke down just what we we screwed up on, why or what we could have done differently to potentially affect the outcome of the match a little better. Uh, this time we are in the Nelson and uh, there's a special guest on the other team. Uh, I didn't know it at the time, of course, but uh, he has since sent me a message and we've gotten together and talked about it. He's a streamer on Facebook and he also is a community contributor and has a YouTube channel. His name is Dirty Mike and uh, his Facebook channel, I believe, is uh, Fat Guy Gaming. So uh, go check him out if you guys feel like you want to check another community contributor out. Um, but yeah, we're in the Nelson. And we're on Atlantic. We're top tier. And it's probably about the the best matchmaking you could ever ask for for a Nelson. Um, it's pretty spread up gameplay. There are three destroyers out there, which is not preferable. But there's a lot of battleships out there as well. And we're going to do what I normally do, which is we're going to push up towards the center islands here. Try to limit who can... Oh, hello. How you doing, Colorado? Hold these. And you can notice I am firing armor piercing. Because, like I've said before, armor piercing isn't that bad in the ship. It's kind of nice. And uh, you can see we can do quite a bit of damage to that Colorado. He's lucky he didn't get Citadel. But, uh, yeah, it's just one of those things, I guess. Concentrate fire anyway. On the enemy warship. Like I said. This is a breaking down failure video, so we're going to go over the things that I do early that are good, and then the things that I kind of screw up late in the game that could have potentially won us the match. Now, spoiler alert, we don't win this match, <laughs> but uh, we'll go over my mistakes when we get to them. First thing I'm doing is, like I said, get close to the island. I swear to God, I wasn't even tired, and immediately, as soon as I start recording, I have to, I have to start yawning. I apologize. I don't know why. I try to record at different times, and it doesn't matter. It just always seems to get me. Now here, I've got a very good shot window at this Colorado over the top of the hill, but you can see I'm not gonna be able to hold on to it. Uh, we are getting a little too close to it. I've been in reverse for a minute, and it's just not allowing me to slow down enough. And unfortunately, we don't have a shot anymore. But. You can see we're also being targeted from across the map. Now, the ship is on fire. we're in the Nelson, which means we get the super heal. What is the super heal? The super heal means that I can heal almost half of my hit points with a single heal. And it heals quite a bit every tick as well. So being on fire is not a big deal. Flooding is not that big a deal when you have these sort of super heals. But you only get two of them. And here, I burn my first one a little prematurely. Now, the reason I say it was kind of premature is because we weren't quite half health as far as the uh, heal was going. But because we were on fire, I figured the ticking of the fire would get us to that point. So, I went ahead and used the first heal. Now, keep that in mind because, like I said, I only get one more. I'm running the Andrew Cunningham build on this, uh, no surprise there. You guys know I like my uh, dispersions. So I've got the Andrew Cunningham build, which means because it's not a tank build, I don't get the extra heals, which would be huge if you have a uh, tank build on a Nelson. Like that would be basically like being able to heal two of your ships. <laughs> because you can get the, the potential for two extra heals if you have a tier uh, tier 16 captain tank build. But what you lose when that happens is your ability to hit things consistently. And for me, the trade-off isn't good enough, in my opinion. Um, I'd rather be able to inflict damage on the enemy rather than rely on taking damage from the enemy. Does that make sense? Now you'll notice right here, my team is still pretty bunched up. I've done a pretty good job of controlling the center, but I also recognize that we are being flanked. 
So now I have no choice but to turn back. Now here's where I start to make mistakes. I have an island to my left that I can use for cover while I defend myself. I quit. <laughs> I cannot stop yawning. Uh, while I defend myself from the Dunkirk and... Oh, hello, Dirty Mike. How you doing? Holdy. Ah, oh, no, the island. Darn you, island. I thought I had a shot. That was on me. Speaking of mistakes, but anyway. So, yeah, you'll see that I get a little greedy here. I'm trying to push up past the island to get shots. And again, I had no idea he was in the match. But I see cruiser, I want kill cruiser. <laughs> I see war spite, I want to kill war spite. But a cruiser in open water versus 16 inch short fuse armor piercing, I'll take that odds. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I take the shot, and I'm assuming he's about to disappear. Uh, and by disappear, I mean I, I assumed he was dead. Uh, he does a pretty good job of avoiding it. He bounces around somehow. <laughs> I don't know how you bounce a 16 inch armor piercing around off a of Naobo boot. He did it. Uh, but he, all, he only took one penetration. Now, I am being shot at by a French cruiser off to my right and a French battleship straight ahead. I have no problem fighting either of these guys. This ship will rip both of these guys to pieces. However, remember what I said about making mistakes. I am putting myself further and further away from my sheltered island, which means that more and more people are able to shoot me. That's not preferable. Now here, I get a pretty decent shot at the guy, and I just kind of whiffed. I got a pretty decent lead on him. A little slow, maybe, but uh, the shots pretty much landed all around his ship, even if it was towards the back of him. So, uh, should have had a better hit there, but, you know, RNG giveth, RNG taketh. Uh, he's now disappeared, which means I cannot focus him, which means Dunkirk, I apologize for what I'm about to do to you, but you kind of deserve it. See, unlike your older brothers, you are not scary <laughs> while wow, you're bow tanking me when I have 16 inch guns. And we put five out of the six that I could hit him with, five rounds, straight through the superstructure of his ship, dealing a pretty significant hit. Now, the Nevi or Nevni over here starts shooting at me. Uh, we've still got the Aoba over there shooting at me. We've got multiple battleships shooting at me now. And this would be the point at which a normal person would go, okay, I'm in a bad way, and what a hit. Can we just talk about that for a minute? I know it was armor piercing, but that was a pretty solid hit. Notice the positioning of the enemy battleships on the minimap compared to where I am. Now, notice where my teammates are on the map versus those in same enemy battleships. Now, what does that tell you? That tells me, looking back, and of course I have 2020 because I was in the match and I, I'm now watching it back, so I already know what's happening, but that means that I am a prime target, broadside on in a Nelson to multiple battleships on the other side of the map. Now, sure, there's islands between us, but as you just saw, I'm being touched. <laughs> So now, I can't, I realize that I've made a mistake. I realize that I'm in a bad way. But rather than back off and try to re-evaluate my situation, I press forward, knowing that I can kill the Dunkirk pretty quickly. And then eventually, I can turn into foul tank the enemy that's firing over the mountain. Um, however, unfortunately, I take even more citadels, and I cannot possibly afford to take more from them, so I start to bow tank them now. Which means that now I'm giving a broadside to the Dunkirk to shoot at. And now I'm on fire twice, I have to burn my damage con, Dunkirk is going to get away for now, and uh, we are about to run aground, so we, we have to avoid what we're doing. Problem we go solved, ahead. Sir. Aim the shot up over the mountain. Can we possibly catch him? He looked like he was turned. And we do. Down he goes, giving us our high caliber. Now, again, I have an island to my left. That is an out for me. Keeping this island there protects me. But I don't do that. Now that the battleship has gone on my right, I start turning in towards the left to try to get a hold of the guys that are shooting me. And in doing so, 
I am taking rounds from pretty much everyone. And I'm not doing a very good job of, of bow tanking. Now, I incorrectly thought that the battleship directly ahead of me was the one that was citadeling me. Uh, and then I get a shot at the Nevni here, and I'm like, he's dead. There's no way he survives high explosive, and I only touch him one time. Of course I would, because that's how I do things. But notice there's a second battleship even further up to my left. Now, Dirty Mike finishes me off. We die. Look at my team. What is my team doing? Well, most of them have no health. New Mexico being the uh, 18,000 health, you know, difference. But the rest of my team, other than the Pensacola, who's going all the way down and around, who just killed the Galician here, has no health. The Pensacola is the only one who is full health at this point, and we'll come back to him in a minute. Now, I could have done a better job of keeping myself near those islands so that I wasn't being crossfired. So that is my biggest thing in this match. And this, this match still could go any way. This is very much up in the air. Because their battleships have taken a beating as well. Now, their Arizona has a little more health than our uh, New Mexico. And our New Mexico is sailing broadside on to everybody. And he gets promptly citadeled by the worst bite. So, uh, you gotta love that. Worst bite and Arizona left. Plus, you have the uh, Aoba over there and the Nevni. Now, the Nevni we know have no health. The Aoba has about half health or less. The Arizona has less than half health. And the War Spite, I believe, has less than half health. And now our Aoba has a potential to do some damage, but he is sailing in open water, not paying attention to the front of his ship. He's got multiple ships shooting at him, and the War Spite gets the Citadel through the deck of the Aoba. Maybe it wasn't a Citadel, maybe it was just multiple penetrations, but he had like 6,000 health, and it all disappeared when it looked like one shell hit him. Now, our Pensacola has lost quite a bit of health already. But then he's going to do the unthinkable. He's got amazing armor piercing that can absolutely rip that war spite to pieces. And he gets very lucky here that the war spite pretty much misses it. Gets a couple overpins on him. But then he goes full broadside to Dirty Mike in the Aoba at four kilometers. All he had to do was bow tank this Aoba right now, and he will nuke Dirty Mike and take minimal damage. But because he's given him the broadside, he's going to take nasty Citadel damage right back instead of actually dealing it. But he realizes his mistake, starts to angle away. It's a little too late for that, but he starts to angle away. He takes even more Citadel damage and then just nukes Dirty Mike into the bottom of the ocean. And that leaves... The war spite. Now he could easily kill this war spite with his next salvo if he lives long enough to do it. He only has 600 health left. Can he live long enough to do it? He's the last man alive on the team. The shots are out, and one guy in the war spite slowed down, changed his speed, and managed to make the cruiser miss. Meanwhile, our cruiser sailing in a straight line, broadside to a battleship. With only 600 health left, did not. Now, we end up pulling 1,500 base XP in a loss. So, you know we had a pretty good game. But, if I had used a little bit better map awareness, a little bit better positioning there at the end where I was engaging with the Dunkirk and the Galicianeer, you if I had used those islands to my left better rather than charging out, I would have been protected from the enemy battleships that were on my left and then i would have been able to kill the galician the uh dunkirk probably kill the galicianeer and i would have been able to survive that with most of my health intact and most likely would have been able to kill the arizona uh the war spite and definitely the aoba but i didn't do that so hopefully this has been a nice learning experience for you guys. You guys get to see my failures and see how I look at a situation that I screwed up and what I could do differently the next time I'm in that situation. So if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button, leave a comment below,
subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.